Hi, my name is Kathy Souza. I'm the president of Arts of Bear Valley, and we're having our annual Bear Valley show this year. It's an arts and music festival we have every year. It starts on Friday, ends on August 1st. I hope everyone can come. It's a wonderful event. Hi, my name is Karen O'Neill. I'm a member of uh, Arts of Bear Valley. We've been a group that was organized in 1990, so we've been going quite a while. We have the privilege of running our show along with the Bear Valley Music Festival. During our show, we have a raffle, and I'm one of the four artists that have donated to the raffle. Uh, this is the painting I have donated. I think we're getting some reflection on this, but because uh, there is glass covered, it is a watercolor on Yupo paper, which is a, uh, a plastic paper. So the paint responds differently to this paper because uh, it doesn't soak in. And so the, it, I, I am enjoying working it with this anyway right now. And uh, there will be three other artists that will also be having one of their paintings in the raffle. We will we'll draw for the raffle uh, on the last, right after the last, uh, last concert. You don't have to be present to win. And uh, the tickets are just $1 a piece. And so you can buy lots of them if you wish. And uh, you can put it in the uh, bucket. We'll have four buckets out there. They will just be for the, you, the painting you would like to bid on. And anyway, we're looking forward to it and uh, we're hoping lots of people come to our show and all the money we raise from this raffle will be given to the Bear Valley Music Festival. Hello, I'm Gene Bryan. I'm part of the Arts of Bear Valley organization. Um, right, right now, it's really formed uh, the local artists, what we call the Highway Corridor, um, a Highway 4 Corridor which kind of extends clear over uh, to Angel's Camp and then on over to Jackson. We've got a few folks that are outside of the area. And in that regards, uh, let me back up and say, okay, this year I did, I'm showing ceramics only in the raffle piece that I am donating. This is a, as you can see, it's just a circular uh, picture type thing. I don't like to do anything kind of conventional. so. <laughs> this is kind of, uh, it's all wheel thrown, but except for the handle, did chattering on it, blue rutile, I think is the glaze, and chum plum. But uh, it's it's kind of a fun thing. It's more decorative than useful, but most of my things are more decorative than, than useful. My photography and these kind of things, I try to do something that says something about me. I'm kind of different. I like in my photography. I like to tell a story. I like I like for the image to represent something about me or something I saw. It's an instant of time in the picture, but it I took it for a reason, and I try to tell the story with things that I do. I do a lot of creative, uh, uh, creative animals sculpture, but they're not any kind of animal. They're just creative that tell a story. So. That's kind of what it is for me. Uh, I've been in this thing since 96. There's about 30 more people in the show actively working, but 20 people showing. So anyway, hope to see you at the show. Hi, I'm Jim Sells. I'm a co-chair with Gene Bryant on the art show at the Bear Valley Music Festival. Uh, Gene's covered pretty much everything about the show here. Uh, I'm kind of the new kid. I've been here about five, maybe six years. Uh, the stuff I do uh, starts out as a photograph and sometimes, like the one that I'm uh, donating for the raffle, is you know fairly standard landscape photography. Uh, the only thing I did in this is you notice there's a little yellow boat in the back and the boat wasn't really yellow but I decided it looked better that way. Uh, I do some things that are a little bit unusual, I think. Uh, I have some pieces that'll be in the show this time that I took a picture of the antique trains down in Jamestown. And then I created a thing where it looks like you're looking through the side of the train to different views in Yosemite. Uh, one is the California coast and another one is up here on Highway 4. 
where each window of the train is a different view as, as you go along. And of course, there is no train in Yosemite and there's no train going up Highway 4. So the, the train is imaginary, the scenes are real. But basically, that's the kind of work I do. Uh, we've had a lot of um, people come out of the Bay Area that have been impressed with some of the artists up here. Uh, quite frankly, I was a little intimidated when I joined the group and saw the quality of the work they do. Uh, there are some real special people. If you miss this show, you'll be missing a really good show.